Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you um, a tutorial to show you how to get like big eyes. Well, not actual big eyes, but to show you how to make your eyes look really big without actually having huge eyes. Like my eyes are not, they're just kind of like average size. Um, but in the summer when you have a tan and you don't want to wear too much makeup, this is a great look for you. So let's get started. So if you have a tan right now, don't worry about putting on any concealer or anything like that, but if you do need to cover a few things like zits or blackheads or just anything on your face that you want to cover, some redness, um, just I'm using a powder foundation. It's organic wear. Um, I love it. It's my thing I use every day. So just use a powder foundation. You don't need to be liquid just so like you know you want to look more natural in the summertime at least I do so I'm going to just put that all over my face and now I'm going to just contour the sides of my face real quick um, I use a selection of brown colors and I just load that up on a blush brush and then I just contour my face quick If you suck in your lips a little bit, you can see that indent right there. And you start from that indent and then just go all the way up to um, <clears throat> the top, well, the middle of your ear, kind of. And that gives your face just, it kind of thins your face out a little bit. Okay, so this is totally optional. I'm just going to use a chibi little um, blush. It's just, it's just this pink, light pink color. Um, and I'm going to put that on my apples. And I don't want to put too much just because it's hot outside and it's summertime and you're already going to have like a natural blush. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, so next, your eyes are kind of the most important part of this look. So I'm going to grab my eyeshadow primer first. Uh, I got mine from Victoria's Secret. They're having a sale, actually. I got it for $2, so that was great. Um, and I'm just going to prime my lids with this quick. Now you want to prime above and below um, because you're going to be having eyeshadow below your eye as well for this look. Okay, so after you do that, you can use a regular black eyeliner, which is not what I'm going to do, um, or you can use a liquid eyeliner, which is what I would suggest doing, um, but just so I can get a little bit more precision, I'm going to be using my um, eyeliner pencil, and I'm just going to put a little bit of water on this, this top here, um, and then I'm going to load that up with some black eyeshadow, and then I'm going to get Okay, so I loaded up my brush, and now I'm just going to do... Um, like a simple cat eye on my eye. So now I have both of my eyes um, lined with my cat eye. I did not do the bottom lids as you can see. Um, I'm just gonna take this tiny MAC brush and I don't, I don't know the number of it but I'm just gonna take that brush and I have this um, peachy pink color up here this one that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna load my brush up and then I'm gonna apply that I'm gonna apply that all over my eye And you kind of want to cover up that um, eyeliner that you just did with it. Um, you can just go right over it, don't worry about it. Just like that. And then you want to take a little sponge brush and get like some white shimmery powder. Um, just eyeshadow really. <laughs> or if you have powder, it would be great. And then just put it right here. 
and pull it all the way down. And then pull all the way up. You can pull it as far up as you want and as far down as you want. I'm just going to the middle of my eye, um, both on top and bottom. And then just do the same to your other eye. Okay, so if you have a white eyeliner pencil, you can use that, but I'm just gonna use a brush because I don't have that. And it's just a little brush, or you can use an eyeliner brush, whichever you like, and just get some white eyeshadow on that. Or if you have the white pencil, obviously, use just the pencil. And you just want to put that on your lower lash line, including your waterline. And how you do the waterline is you just pull slightly down, and you just put it right on there. And then just do the whole lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to, with my black eyeliner pencil, or if you want, you can do this with liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to go over that line I made originally. Okay, now I'm going to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to apply um, Rimmel London's Max Curves um, for my mascara. I love this mascara because it's got this curved brush, which is really, really cool. Um, and it works really well. Now what you do is you just put it in the base of your lashes and then pull up and wiggle. I'm going to do top and bottom here. So now that you did your mascara, you just want to get a little more white on that original um, brush we used and just put that right in the inside of your eye and only slightly pull it up don't pull it all the way up basically you're just putting that over that white shadow that you put on and you really want to emphasize the inside of your eye and obviously do it on the other side as well. So next you want to take another brush. I'm using my blush brush and I just took off all everything that was on it. And you just wanna blend that inside corner of your eye very lightly. And then you really wanna accentuate your bottom lashes. So take your um, black eyeliner pencil again and just from the outside, just um, not on your waterline, just on your lash line, just line that and just kind of pull it up. Put some white on that other brush again and just go over your waterline one more time with that. And then I'm just going to take this brush again, and I have like a shiny yellow, and I'm just going to put that right underneath my eyebrow. And that's just for like, if you're taking pictures or something, um, it'll just accentuate that and really just complete, just kind of 
draw your face all together and put like the whole thing together. It looks really good in pictures. So this is my completed look. Um, I am going to be showing you a hair tutorial in a minute, so I'm not going to do anything to my hair right now, but um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I hope you get huge eyes that you've always wanted, like me. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and good luck.